in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The research work I'm sharing today is entitled Construction of Hepatitis C Virus Infectious Molecular Clones from Cameroonian Isolates, an approach for vaccine development. My name is Marceline Jute from the University of Yaoundé One, and uh, I'm a Fulbright Visiting Scholar from Yale University. The outline of this presentation is as follows. There will be a background, introduction, and then the problem statement in the rationale, the research objectives will be looked at, the HCV strains that circulate in Cameroon and the related clones, the replication of HCV in cell culture, and we'll conclude, give the selected references and acknowledge some people. Hepatitis C virus infection is associated with increased morbidity and mortality worldwide. Uh, you all know that today there is no vaccine available for HCV uh, infection. In Cameroon, HCV infection is characterized by a greater genetic diversity that could represent significant threats and challenges for successful treatment and response to potential HCV vaccine candidates. In the laboratory derived HCV infectious clones have been largely dependent on the Japanese criminal AIDS hepatitis uh, JMH1 strain. And this has offered limited opportunity for researchers to study the mechanisms of pathogenesis of that virus as well as the reactivity of isolate to promising vaccine candidates. Researchers need representative isolates of each uh, HCV gene type to be able to develop some robust cell culture systems that will facilitate further investigations. So the aim of our study was first of all to generate the, the HCV's, HCV, HCV's clones from Cameroonian isolates and to develop the cell culture systems using the, the isolates from Cameroon and from other parts of the world, uh, the world, Asia and America, to compare the different strains in uh, cell culture for the various experiments to carry out. For the first objective, for the first research question, we identified HCV isolates, and these were transferred from Cameroon to Yale University in the United States for investigations that included molecular characterization of HCV, gene cloning, and cell culture. HCV has seen an NSIB genes were amplified by RT-PCR, nested and semi-nested PCR, respectively. PCR products were resolved in 1.5 agarose gel electrophoresis. Uh, they, these products were purified, cloned into a topo vector, and the generated clones were used to transform the chemical competent uh, DH5 alpha cells. The plasmid DNA obtained from the, this experiment was used for DNA sequencing using the Sanger uh, technology chain definition sequencing. And the nucleotide sequences were analyzed using the genius source software. This allowed to generate the consensus sequences. And these consensus sequences were used for phylogenetic analysis uh, through the NTDI blast. These experiments successfully analyzed HCV isolates from Cameroon was were shown as belonging to genotype 1 that was predominant followed by genotype 4. 
And the NCBI blast showed 77% similarity with the HCB subunit and 1B. Uh, and also showed that uh, the genotype 4 uh, was belonging to the subunit and 4A. And these subgenotypes are uh, really virulent strains that uh, require special care, including the appropriate direct acting antivirals, such as the NX5D inhibitors. Uh, from the HCV replication in cell culture, we, it has been shown that um, some cell effectors play a key role in uh, the replication of flavic virus, flavic viruses, as well as the hepatitis C virus. Some autophagy related gene named ATD5, especially is rate of regulated, increasing autophagy, preventing caspase activation and apoptosis, and it also functions in the immune system, regulating innate and adaptive immune responses, including macrophage, macrophage polarization, cytokine secretion, and antigen presentation. Another protein called LCE3 uh, is known to form a stable association with the membrane of autophagosomes. LCE3 uh, antibodies are therefore useful biomarkers to detect autophagy. So it has been shown that HD4-5 and LC3 knockout cells uh, are autophagy proteins involved in the HD replication. So the dissection of the individual steps of the HD life cycle suggests that this protein specifically modulates the onset of translation of incoming HCV RNA and therefore the establishment of HCV replication. So if the cell effectors HCV5 and LC3 are used as um, to develop the, the cell culture system, it might uh, play a key role in the replication of the of HCV. HCV. So isolate an RNA samples uh, from you, from the U.S. and from Cameroon, uh, were used, including the the positive control that was the wild type JC1 uh, look These were transfected. The, the, they used to transfect the human hepatoma cell HU7.5. The experiments, like the HCV infectivity assay. The anti uh, NS5A staining on samples were performed using these cell inventors so that we could determine um, which type points are necessary for the virus to, to be released in the medium. The medium tissue culture infection goes, the validity was therefore determined for each sample and time point using the infectivity calculator created by Lindenberg. Medium tissue culture infection doses for me to enter on, on a spreadsheet using the graph part uh, software. And the growth curves plotted. The experimental conditions were 96 well plates for months and all samples were done in triplicates. The medium was DMEM supplemented with fecal cow serum. The cell seeding density was 6.3 per wall in 80 microliters. We performed the zero duration and the plan points were 4, 12, 16, 40. 24 and 48, 48 and 72 hours, and we use the positive control and also the negative control. From this experiment, I just used, as you can see, the growth curve. 
The HCV replicates very fast between 24 and 48 hours time points so that the median tissue culture infectious dose per milliliter reach, which is the maximum. But after 48 hours, it is observed that uh, the, the, the curve the, it decreases, uh, meaning that viruses start to die in the medium. So there is no more release of viruses, infectious viruses, or they are dying. After the after the 20, uh, 20, 22nd hour time point. So obviously this means that the appropriate time point for this experiment, subculture experiment, for the verification of this to be determined. As a take home message, I would like to say that the virulent HCV strains, something in types 1, 1B and 4A circulating government, confirming the chronic infection noted in the country and requiring the use of NS5 inhibitors uh, as DAAs. It is obvious that Cameroonian HCV strains, as other strains in the United States and Asia, replicates in cell culture. More experiments are needed with a larger sample size to hold the hypothesis. Uh, this includes also the generation of full length of more genomes, more representative strains, and the HCV RNA in vitro transcription for the translation experiments. But it, it must be known that the determination of the optimal time points for HCV replication is critical for vaccine development, preclinical drug testing, and the virology research. And this, uh, the, this um, optimal time points are from 24 to 48 hours time points. So these are selected, the selected references. I would like to thank the, the, the Jane William Fulbright Commission for the grant uh, for us that allowed us to carry out these experiments, traveling to the US. The Yale University went into molecular medicine for the access to robust experiments. Um, and the Lindenberg Laboratory for the collaboration and the facilities of patients who are accepted to participate in this study. Thank you for your kind attention.